So Clyde had some interesting comments to say about KD's legacy by him winning two championships with the Golden State Warriors. Here's Clyde's interview on the Andrew Termine Show on Sirius XM NBA. Grant, I mean, as great a player he is, I would still hold back because, man, he joined a team that really didn't need him. You know what I mean? I mean, he's he's right there with LeBron, probably will surpass LeBron as the best player in the game soon. But for him doing that, I still don't give him the full credit that, that he probably would have deserved if he stayed with OKC and won a title with that team. Yeah, is it Eddie and I have a difficult time. Like, can you yeah. place him, like, even as talented as he is, like top 10, top 15 player when, when the career is over? If, like you said, you can't give him full credit for the title, is it hard for you to do that? Yeah, yeah, he's going to be down the, down the list for me because of that, you know, because there will be a ostrich by his name. <laughs> so what did you guys think about Clyde's comments? Is KD's legacy changed by, quote-unquote, taking the easy route? I love Clyde, but I have to disagree. What's really the right way to win a championship? Is KD any less of a champion because he jumped onto the best team in the league? I'm not so sure. While I disagree with KD going to Golden State only because I was tired of seeing the rich get richer, how can I blame him? We've seen over the history of the league that championship teams are made by a combination of factors, homegrown talent, trades, and yes, free agency. Clyde himself played on championship teams with five other Hall of Famers, of which some were acquired via trade. So like I said, what's the right way to win a championship? If KD never joins the Warriors and never wins a ring, what would be the narrative about him then? That he was great, but he never won the big one. And all we would do was put him in the graveyard with the rest of them, including our hero, Patrick Ewing. And if we take a look at just stats, I think KD's more than earned it. In the two series as finals MVP, KD put up monster numbers and was well deserved of the accolades. I think we as fans diminish a player's legacy in these times based on the fact that they didn't make the decision that we wanted them to make. But I'd be damn sure happy if KD was putting these numbers up for the Knicks. Let's hope Clyde didn't mess up our chances. But what do you think? Is KD's legacy tarnished or is it just sour grapes on Clyde's behalf? Meet me in the comment section and let's continue this debate. As always, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And continue to support Knicks Fan TV. Here we go. To the Knicks is better than Kyrie and Jimmy to the Knicks. That's how much better KD is than Jimmy and Kyrie. I don't want Kyrie. If I could get KD alone over Kyrie and Jimmy, I'm doing that every single time. Because it's like too much mismatch.